audience. What? What are you guys doing inside a Chevy Camaro? Chevy Camaros? Come on, <laughs> audience. That's precarious. Intro darkness and redness and whiteness. Yes, as you guys can welcome back. We're at Epcot. As there you see, test track. My first Epcot review eight months ago. It's now being becoming Chevrolet friendly. So let's take a look at this car that you guys are sitting in. The Chevy Camaro. Uh, well, is this a 2013 model? Yep. Yeah. Oh, uh, actually 12, sorry. All right. Jeez. And right here we have the Chevy Volt. Probably the highly, you guys want, uh, I'm gonna sit in this one just for you so you can see how good this is. Let's we'll see how good this is. Who is in here? Hey, not bad. Oh, not you, and we got a nice thing here. And the only thing missing in here is a DVD player, so that way, if anyone's in the back seat, they can watch a good movie in there. Not Biodome. So here we go as we get set for Ellen Energy Adventure. There you see Mission Space in the background there. There's the Inno Engines, and that way is Die. <laughs> yes, and uh, yes, so actually, and right there on that side, it says Journey into Imagination, where you can buy Die for 30 coins. <laughs> okay, no, not buy for 30 coins. But today, I'm reviewing a ride that is very, very, very underrated. Very, very underrated. And that is, we're going to take a look at a building that is very unique to Epcot. And that ride is, we're taking a look inside the universe of energy. Uh, in other words, it's Ellen's Energy Adventure. So let's go, and we have a long line to wait in. Oh boy. I probably came at the wrong time. Why? And there's the old Wonders of Life Pavilion. There's no way you can get there because the rope's blocking you. And there you see a monorail key lime. Ugh. And that's where this place has the weirdest color for monorails. Colors for monorails. So, yep, we're at the Universe of Energy Pavilion here. And why am I not talking so much? Because this ride is 45 minutes long. Yes, I am not kidding. 45 minutes long. This probably makes it the longest Disney ride on the planet. Unless there's one that's 50 minutes for an hour. And unlike most, unlike just like Kilimanjaro Safari, if there's an early sunset, well, the ride will the, park, the ride will close. They set this on the park. The ride will close at 7:30, which will be 4:30 if you're on the West Coast. So now, let's get started as we make our way to the Crystal Cathedral of Epcot. Yeah, they use way too many crystals here. <laughs> I guess they wanted it to pop. And. They did a good job with that. So, let's get started. And this is also possibly the more interesting attractions that Disney's ever made. That Disney's ever made. And I like the fact here you get to see a countdown clock. Till the show starts. So that's really cool. A really cool feature here. So here we go as we begin our journey here to Ellen's Energy Adventure. As you can see, as you can see, we have giant screens on the wall. This will serve as an eight-minute pre-show. Which
in my opinion, this ride is very underrated. Oh, got it. I think I got a text. Yes, I did. Hang on one moment, folks. So I'm gonna, you guys listen to the epic music. Thank you for the uh, cooperation there. So now we got, and this is possibly the biggest day of the trip. This is day number four. We got two more. On day six, I'll be flying back to LA where I belong. And that means I get to do a mass amount of uploading before my Thanksgiving Australian football marathon here. I left a thing here. Let me pick it up and see what it is. And oh, mustard! Hang on, let me throw this away. Oh, yep, someone left their mustard here. I don't know why. How you doing? Better than my other camera bag. Better than my other camera bag. That one has the external thing on it. Oh. Sorry? Best ride in the park. Best ride in the park? Okay, not the best, but second. Okay. This because this ride's underrated. Huh? This ride's underrated. Really? Even though because if you have a long if, Good afternoon, how are you guys doing? Woo! Alright, I want to welcome you to the Universe of Energy, featuring Ellen's Energy Adventure. Now, first order of business is for those of you sitting on the floor, and you know who you are. Uh, please don't, guys, we need to have you standing up, and probably everybody, if you're not on the benches back there, you need to move down closer to the front here. Now, why is that? It's because once we get started, and the lights dim in here, some guests will still be coming in. They might not see you if you're on the floor, so uh, we'd like to keep you from getting stepped on or kicked or something like that. So, um, if you would, just uh, stay standing in here. It'll only be for about eight minutes. Then you go on the ride, which is behind me. Once you're on the ride now, you'll need to stick it out, stay seated for a full 37 minutes, just so you know. And there are some loud noises and dark periods also. So uh, if for any reason at all you think you might not be able to stick it out for the whole 37 minutes, it would be great for you to exit before you go in there. If you feel the need to do that, we have a little over here on the left where this first exit sign is. All right. So if everybody's good, coming up in just a moment or two, Walt Disney World presents for you with Ellen's Energy Adventure. Good, Alan, you? Good. No need to answer. You know, you're probably surprised <laughs> to see me here, aren't you? Yes. And there's probably a lot of places you'd be surprised to see me when you think about it. If you were driving in your car, for instance, okay, 
close your eyes, you're in your car, no, close your eyes, in the car, but right now think about it. You're in your car, you're driving, and then all of a sudden from the back seat, I just pop up and go, ah! you just whack me in the head, wouldn't you? That would be, that wouldn't be nice. But then it wouldn't be nice for me to do that to you. How did I get in your car anyway? Can you, did you lock the car? Maybe it was your fault. Maybe I'm just teaching you. But the point is, to see me here as a spokesperson for the universe of energy, I mean, that's crazy. You know, I mean, I'm an expert on a lot of things. You know that. I know that. But uh, a few things. But energy. I mean, there was a time I could care less about it. And then suddenly everything changed. One day I was sitting in my apartment. I, I said I was sitting in my apartment when there it is. I'd offer you some snacks, but she. I mean, I can't hear me. Hey, hey, you. How about sharing some of those chips? No, you're on a diet. Me? How about you? <laughs> Anywho, I'm watching TV and my favorite show is about to start. Yep, we got a game show reference here. What is, who is it? What is it? No one locks their doors in New York. Hey, it's your neighbor, Bill Nye the Science Guy. Hey, Bill Nye the Science Guy, it's Ellen, the, uh... Just Ellen, I guess. What can I do you for? I'd like to borrow some aluminum foil, a clothespin, and a candle. Another hot day, huh? Actually, I'm working on your experiment. Ah, uh, take care of course. I don't Bill and I always do the experiment. Jeopardy? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh! What? It's my old college roommate, Judy Peterson. She was such a smarty pants, know it all. I had the best nickname for her, though. What was that? Stupid Judy. <laughs> no, well, that makes no sense. She has a PhD. I know, but it made me feel better. So now I guess she's some hotshot energetic professor. She's a professor of energy. Whatever. Who cares about stupid Judy and her stupid energy? Well, Ellen, energy's the most important thing in the universe. Oh, yeah, sure. Take her side. I'm not taking her side. It's just without energy, nothing would go. Nothing would happen. I mean, there'd be... Nothing. Well, then we'd really be in jeopardy now, wouldn't we? <clears throat> yeah. Well, what is, uh, thanks for the supplies, and, uh, see you later. What is, bye-bye. <laughs> right again, Judy. Stupid Judy, stupid energy. Maybe the universe needs energy, but I don't. I'll take a nap for a hundred. <laughs> I know. Big piece of corn right there in the teeth. How could you not see? I'm going to have to call you back. <laughs> now, as most of you know, when someone falls asleep watching TV, that person is going to have a what? Anyone? Anyone? That's right, my own dream sequence. Right. Mine was more of a nightmare, actually. And uh, this, actually, we should get some fog in here. Always nice to spice up a dream sequence with fog. No, not in here. Over there. In the dream. <laughs> Scary, huh? This is Dr. Judy Peterson, Dr. Albert Einstein, and finally, Just Ellen. Oh, she and missed. Now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. Hello, contestants. Welcome to our program, and good luck to you in the game. Here are the categories for the first round of play. Solar energy, wind power, energy from water, fossil fuels, fusion, and finally, gas. Ellen, since this is your dream, we'll let you make the first selection. Uh, I would take, and no, um, folks, this was before Alex shaved his mustache. But I'm not really sure if he had the heart attack first. Fine. The answer is, this was formed from microscopic plants and animals trapped in ocean floor sediments millions of years ago. Ellen. Sorry, Ellen. We were looking for something more than just an embellishment of what I had already said. Anyone else? Judy. What is petroleum, Alex? What is bituminous? 
Yeah, I have to make sure he probably had a heart attack after this was made. And so, as we come to the end of the first round, ladies and gentlemen, Judy has a commanding lead. Ellen has her work cut out for her, and Dr. Einstein is nowhere, relatively speaking. <laughs> oh, Ellen, your first correct response. Freeze! This is my dream. I'm in control now. I can still win. I still have a chance to. Who is it? It's me, Bill Lang, the science guy. Hey, I'm glad you came to help me. Actually, I came to see Einstein. Wow, you're getting clobbered. Yeah, this Nightmare Jeopardy version is a lot harder than the home version. Can you help me? Sure, but first we have to go back. Back stage? No, no, no. Way back, like many billion years ago. Okay, but can we stop at a mini mart or something to get some snacks? Because I have a tendency to get hungry after a couple billion years. No can do. Time's a waste of really weird from here. Now some person I don't even know reminds me there's no eating, drinking, smoking, or flash photography allowed in my dream. Well, I'm not supposed to remind you. I'm supposed to remind the folks here there's no eating, drinking, smoking, or flash photography allowed in Ellen's dream. And no videotaping. Oh, screw okay? you, Ellen. And those of you who are just walking in right now, you're late. Where have you been? <laughs> not you. I mean, it's all right, but that's cute, yeah. Um, anyway, so you're not completely lost. Here's a recap of what has been going on. I'm Ellen. Hi. I love Jeopardy. I used to not care about energy at all until I had a nightmare that I was on Jeopardy and all the categories were about energy. Oh, don't I know. It's scary. So my neighbor, Bill Nye, steps in to help me out. Bill Nye, the science guy. You know him? Anyway, so he comes in to help me out. That's what's going on. That's good. You know, and that's your problem because you're late. And you think about that next time. <laughs> Excuse us. All right. If you are sitting, even on the benches, this is the time you want to stand. Now, once the door is open, you can cross the yellow lines and head on in. On this side of the room, you guys will be taking theater cars on your left. As you walk up over here, you'll be taking cars on your right. Uh, the folks in wheelchairs just hang out right behind the cars and they'll take care of you when you get there. And this is probably the more unique attractions. This is actually a moving theater attraction, which makes it the more, probably the most unique ride vehicle types I have ever reviewed on this show. Wait a minute. Ellen said there was no videotaping. How come they said there's no external video lighting? Come on, Ellen, make up your mind. 
tomar fotos con flash, ni usar iluminación para video. Gracias. Everybody and welcome to the Universal Energy. From this point on, we ask there be no changing roads or vehicles. The remaining portion of this show is 37 minutes long. And if you feel that you cannot remain seated for the next 37 minutes, now is your time to exit. I am not doing that. Screw that. Everybody, now we ask that you please just sit back and relax and enjoy the rest of Ellen's stream. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, please do not change rows and stay clear of the doors. For your safety, remain seated with your hands on the Here's the safety spiel. not exist. Fuels 
dinosaurs are just cool. Let's check them out. Well, why don't we just skip to the air conditioning and jacuzzi period, huh? No, <laughs> Like really does look like Ellen DeGeneres. I mean, it's not every day you get to ride an actual theme park attraction based on a celebrity.
needs your warning. News time, 55 million B.C. Now for a look at our weather. Willard? Okay, our ultra-extended forecast calls for decreasing dinosaur population, followed by a sudden growth in those tiny little creatures the size of mice that we call mammals. They aren't they cute? Birthday greetings go out to the cockroach, 200 million years old today. Boy, howdy. Hey, maybe that comet will help get rid of them. Now, here's the traffic update. Well, we've got reports that a giant elephant, a dinotherium to be exact, has popped his trunk and is jackknifed in traffic. Plus, we can expect lots of traffic at the local watering holes as the mammal population continues to boom. KNRG News Time, 1 million B.C. And now to the sports report, live from the Mastodome. Mammals dominate the Earth. Mammals dominate the Earth. The big dinosaurs have been shut out. They're back, 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 The big dinosaurs have left the planet. The mammals have shut them out in a major planetary upset. Charge. This is KNRG News Radio. Hey, let's check out the weather report and see if it's going to stay way cool outside. Willard? Hey, we're following a massive cold front extending from the Arctic region all the way down to our planet's midsection. Now, we're urging all mammals to evolve into their winter wardrobe because it's going to get chilly. Be sure to develop a thick, furry hide if you want to make it. How cold it is. Keep your dial tuned to KNRG for continuous news updates. KNRG News Time, 900,000 B.C. Now let's check out what's happening in the wild world of fashion. Mammals are getting hairier. That's right. Oh, God. Well, do we really have to go to fashion in, now? Whether you're a mammoth or a rhino. And saber teeth seem to be a growing fad in the cat world. Also, look for antlers to be very big this year. As big as 10 feet on creatures like the Megaloceros. Wow. And that's the latest in the fashion world. Thank you, God. Is it ever going to warm up? Let's find out with a look at the weather. Willard? You know those giant glaciers we've all gotten so used to? Well, they're going to be receding to the North and South Poles. Conditions are looking very favorable for a whole new kind of mammal. KNRG News Time, 750,000 B.C. And that's our KNRG Up to the Minute News Report. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. Not the other one, Alan.
way, you have to know where energy comes from. You have to know where it's going to come from and how to use it more wisely. See, this is a really big story. Okay, this has to be shot in California. It just has to. Today, we're using the clean energy of moving air, wind, to generate electricity. Well, then why don't we just get a bunch of wind farmers to harvest a big old crop of wind? We're starting to, where it's windy. But remember, to power a whole city, we need a whole lot of wind. And when the wind stops blowing, we'd be left in the dark, wouldn't we? No way, we just switch to another source of energy. Why did they choose San Francisco? I thought they would choose Chicago. I mean, Hoover Dam. What in the world is Ellen doing? Right now, these renewables provide about 10% of the world's energy. But we can expect them to be playing an even bigger role in the decades ahead. That's great, Bill, but we still need a heck of a lot more energy. Where is it coming from? And you have a call on Come on, I'll show you. Let's hitch a ride with the solid fossil fuel. Winnipeg goal scored by number 16, Andrew Ladd. scientists are working on ways to burn fuels like coal more efficiently than ever. Ellen, what do you know about gas? Well, if your stomach's bothering you, I can get you some club soda. No. <laughs> Look out for that guy! Ha <laughs> ha 
That's a good 3D at 3D of the Empire State Building. source of power that will never run out. Good luck. Can't be a Jeopardy game without the think music. And now we're moving again. Your own energy nightmare, place a self-addressed stamp envelope under your pillow. 
Or check us out on the web at www.energynightmare.game. I really want to know if that's actually a real website. Will Judy remain our Jeopardy champion? Or will Ellen take the lead? We'll know momentarily. Some contestants on Jeopardy will receive a year's supply of energy. Energy, you make the world go round. Once again, the answer is, this is the one source of power that will never run out. Time's up, players. Let's see how well you did. Judy, we'll start with you. You wrote down nothing. That's correct, Alex, because there is no answer. Well, actually, you're wrong. Let's take a look at your wager. Oh, that's oh. too bad. You risk everything you had, and that means you lose $17,800, and you wind up with nothing. Let's go down to Ellen now and see what she came up with as a response to our final Jeopardy quiz. Ellen? Uh, what is brain power, Alex? You are correct. And your wager? You too risk everything, but you double your score to 35,600, and that makes you, Ellen, our new Jeopardy champion. Congratulations. Now that's a poor score. Be sure to tune in tomorrow as Jeopardy Group Sequence Week continues. So that's how I became an energy expert. Again, expert may not be the exact right word, more expert ish. Anyway, I'm going to go. Look out for the dinosaur! <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. Bye, 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 Ellen. And what dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur! Alright, I guess that's it. I'll see you guys next video.